All right, here we have the Born Harbor cycle for magnesium chloride. You can see that at the bottom we have magnesium chloride plus, sorry, magnesium solid plus chlorine gas. And the process that the magnesium has to go through, it has to be atomized, which is delta H1. Uh, then the magnesium gaseous atoms have to be turned to single plus charge ions at the first ionization energy. It's delta H2, and then delta H3 is the second ionization energy. Then delta H4 is when chlorine must be atomized, which is the uh, bond, in this case, it's the bond dissociation enthalpy of chlorine, because this will give us two chlorine atoms from one mole of bonds. So the bond dissociation enthalpy of chlorine then gives us two chlorine atoms. I haven't put the electrons in this cycle. Now the next stage then is the chlorine atoms pick up the two electrons, the electron affinity of chlorine. This is double the electron affinity of chlorine because of course there's two chlorines here. And then finally the lattice enthalpy, the, in this case this is the exothermic lattice enthalpy of uh, magnesium chloride. And simply whichever way around we go the around the circle, if we want delta HF, well we have to add in, delta HF is from magnesium solid to chlorine, I'm sorry, magnesium solid and chlorine to magnesium chloride, well we must go all the way around the circle. So it's delta H1 plus delta H2 plus delta H3 plus delta H4 plus delta H5 plus delta H6 will equal the enthalpy of formation of magnesium chloride.